Fortunately, there aren't too many snow days like this left. We're not in May yet, so I keep the snow shovels handy just in case. One of the things that I always do all year round is I have to make sure that this beard is white, clean, shiny, and soft. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, believe it or not. It's not just washing and conditioning it. It's a special beard balms and beard butters that I put on that have all kinds of things that will moisturize my skin, that keep the beard itself nice and soft so that when little kids sit on my lap or come give me a hug, they don't get all scratchy, irritated. Sometimes I'll put in beard oil. That'll make it smell a little nicer. You know, sometimes it'll make it smell like peppermint, sometimes sugar cookies, sometimes Christmas trees, sometimes a nice winter evening. There's all kinds of stuff that I have to do, but believe it or not, what you also have to do when you have white hair and white beard is you have to rinse them. And there's a special rinse that's called a silver shine that will go through, it cleans it out, it keeps it from looking dingy, but there's a trick to that. For a little bit, it will leave your hair looking kind of gunmetal gray. And if you use too much of it, you look like you brushed your hair and washed up with a blueberry. The trick is knowing when it's just enough and not too much and making sure you put in the right oils for your skin, for your beard, encourage its growth, you know, and also how I brush it out. You know, maybe one of these days I'll show you some of the stuff that I use. You know, brushing it is very, very key because you want to make sure there are no knots and tangles and you know, yeah, sometimes I gotta brush out cookie crumbs. Shh, I'm supposed to be on a diet. Um, sometimes there are little bits of candy cane. Again, shh, I'm supposed to be on a diet. Um, all kinds of little things. You know, when I'm in the barn, feeding the reindeer, cleaning out the stalls, you'll get hay and dust and sawdust and everything. That has to be cleaned out. All kinds of stuff that goes into making sure Santa is always looking his best and being very presentable, being a good example to all you kids out there. So remember, eat your vegetables, take your vitamins, say your prayers, and wash behind your ears.